Wow, 12.15, you're early today. April, there's no paper in the printer. So? So, that's the one thing you do. <sighs> Attention, April, stop doing that. Jerry told me to, so it's super crucial. More important than that, and more important than anything in this godforsaken world is finding me an assistant. You get an assistant now? Yeah, I've always been able to have one, but I've turned it down because it's a waste of money. In the eight years I've been at the job, I've saved the taxpayers of this city more than 150 grand. But now, I need the taxpayers' money to save me from the taxpayers. So post this at your college. This looks like an ad for nothing. Please be careful with it, it's my only copy. I want to be your assistant. Really? You hate it here. So do you. I'll make sure you don't have to go to any meetings. If anyone comes to see you, I'll scare them away. Wait, April, if you had to choose between these two ties... You're hired. I just figured I might as well get paid for being here. Where are you going? I want to talk to Ryan about the size of my desk. Jerry, you have to schedule an appointment. Okay, how about now? Ron's not here. He's right there. I, I can see him. I'll let you know when he's available. And a girl. Hey, good morning. Why are there six people outside who say they're waiting to meet with me? So, you know how you love me because you haven't had a single meeting with anyone since I became your assistant? That's because every time someone calls and requests a meeting with you, I always schedule it for March 31st. Why? Because I didn't think March 31st existed. 30 days has September, April, March, and November. June and November. Today is March 31st. I know. So then how many meetings do I have today? 93. Okay, okay. Well, you know what to do. Right. Um, do you want me to postpone the rest? Or I could set myself on fire and create a diversion. No. I'm gonna do all of these today. Round up whoever's free. I'm gonna need more Ron Swansons. Hey, have you seen April around? She usually comes by at the end of the day. You might want to check her house. She quit on me. What? Why? She screwed up my entire life today. That was one mistake. She's perfect for you. Come on, there's no one in the world who's gonna do a better job for you than April. Why are you here? Come back to work. No. Come back. I want you to come back. Well, I don't want to come back. The end. I was talking to Andy about you, and he made me realize that I need you back at work. What did he say? Don't recall. Fine, I'll come back. Good. Oh, oh excuse me. I had a meeting with Ron Swanson yesterday, but had a little car trouble. Sorry, he's busy right now. Oh, uh, well, well, can I reschedule? Sure. Hmm, how about June 50th? Sorry? Do you think you could come back today at 2.65? He's available then. What is going on? Looks like the only other day he has open is March 10th. Does that work, sir? April? Did you call me? I did call you. Good ears. Chris's assistant went back to Indianapolis, so he's borrowing me for a few days. Yay! I'd like you to get me some more post-its. I'd like them in multiple colors. I'd like green, I'd like yellow. Do not buy orange. I do not want orange, I have plenty of orange. Got it. You want five million orange post-its. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, what? I have a post-it for you. This is a great job. Mm. Great job. Mm. There you go. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm April Ludgate, and I will be filling in for Leslie while she runs for office. So the new emergency protocol for the Parks Department can be found in your binders. What exactly is the chain of command vis-a-vis on-site response? 
Mm. You know what? Why don't we just say that whoever gets to the emergency first will be in charge? Okay, so if there's an explosion, say, in Ramsett Park and someone from sewage gets there first, they'd be in charge? I had no idea how terrible Leslie's job is. She referred to this meeting as a non-stop thrill ride. I hate doing Leslie's job. I'm filling in for a person who smiles 90% of the time. Tom, can you please help me? Please, or just do it. Come on, little sparkle, don't give up. What does Leslie always say? I don't know, weird stuff about waffles. She says you get out of a job what you put into it. You just need to find a project you're passionate about. For instance, I was incredible at naming drinks at the Snake Hole Lounge because I care a great deal about signature beverages. The beer Yonce knows. It's just a regular beer, but we put it in a sexy ass mug. Pairs nicely with the Jay Zima. We bought a bunch of Zima when the factory shut down. That sounds fun. Maybe I should work at a bar. Come on, there must be some aspect of this job you care about. Jerry, the puppies are going to the bathroom everywhere. We can't let people see that. I need you to continuously clean out the cages, okay? You got it, boss. Thank you. Donna, did you put the info sheets on all the cages? Last one. Great. Each animal has a photo, special talents, and a personal history. That I made up. A lot of these dogs have rescued people from burning buildings. This one helped Ray Charles around. What? This cat was in Boogie Nights? Hi, you like this little guy? He's so cute. I know. All the animals are up to date on their shots, and I think he likes you. He's pretty awesome. Did you know his great-grandfather was Spuds McKenzie? What do you think, sweetie? You want to take him home? Yes, please. <laughs> Why is it so dead? Where is everyone? Don't give up yet. There's a few minutes left. Is this where we drop off our unwanted cats? No, it's the opposite. OK. I'm just going to put these here for a second. We ended up with more animals than we started with. This is what happens when you try. All of these animals are gonna die. God, I hope you're happy, stupid people in this stupid town. Hey, hey you! Get back here and get your cats out of here! Can you just leave me alone? Why so glum, sugar plum? Um, I don't know, maybe because I worked so hard on that dumb pet adoption and I failed. That's why it's stupid to work hard. Let me show you something. Because you worked hard, this little terribly dressed girl has a puppy. And this little puppy has a home. If Leslie's taught me anything, it's that yes, 98% of the time, this job is frustrating and you hit brick walls. But the other 2%, it's stuff like this kid and that puppy. I have to tell you a secret. But if you tell anyone, I will kill you slowly with a giant syringe. Good morning, April. What's your secret? I'm thinking about applying to veterinary school in Bloomington. Oh my God, April, that's great. Whoa, where'd you get that? The internet. So I really need a letter of recommendation. And since you work in a hospital as a janitor. Nurse. I was wondering if maybe you would write one for me. Really? Generally, between us, April always has the upper hand. And that hand is usually giving me the finger or pouring honey in my purse. But now I have the upper hand, and I'm going to use it to crush her into being nice to me. I would be happy to write you that letter. I actually know the guy who runs the veterinary program over there. Because you hooked up with him? I don't hook up with everyone I know. Although, yes, we did hook up. But before I write you that letter, you have to spend the next week with me and do everything I say. So I have to be your slave or something? No, you have to be my friend. No, that is so much worse. Don't do that. I guess it would have to be Channing Tatum's body, Ryan Gosling's face, and Michael Fassbender's sense of humor. What about you? Build your perfect guy. Um, Yao Ming's torso, Napoleon's brain, and the hunchback of Notre Dame's hunchback. Do you like my nails? Even though she hides it underneath layers of sarcasm, resentment, and grumpiness, I know deep down somewhere, April likes me. I'm kind of just fracking for friendship. Here is your letter of recommendation, so you're off the hook. No need to pretend to be my friend anymore. Thank God. I can't tell if you actually hate me or if this is just how you are, but I had fun hanging out with you. So I don't care what you say, you're my friend. And I hope you get into veterinary school because I like you, so there. Yeah! My wife is pregnant! Okay, put me down. Hey, you can't keep it from me. I found the pregnancy test, honey. Honey, I'm not pregnant, okay? And if I were, you shouldn't lift me up. Wait, 
Are you sure you're not? Yeah, we've talked about this. Remember? I want to wait until we're 50 and then adopt a set of creepy adult twins from Romania. Oh, yeah, of course. Actually, there is something I need to tell you. <gasps> you're pregnant! No! No, we just ruled that out! Dang it! Okay, a while ago, I applied to veterinary school in Bloomington, and I just found out that... I got in. You did? That's amazing! Wait, why did you wait to tell me? Because I don't even know if I want to go, okay? I mean, yes, it's been my dream to work with animals since I was a kid and everything, but it would mean I'd be spending a lot of time apart from you and... Oh, we could get through that. I mean, look, it, it would suck for a while and I would miss you while you're gone, but as I've known about you for the past 20 seconds, this is your dream. I'm really glad I married you. Yeah, we made a good call on that one. I only agreed to come back here because of our deal. Do you promise to play along? Yes, do you? Yes! Hi, you're back. Hello again. As you remember, I'm April, and this is Anne, my 65-year-old grandmother. Yes, that's who I am. Anyway, we'd love to hear about Bloomington. It seems like a real hip kind of college town. Me, Ma? God, no one uses the word hip anymore. Sometimes I wish you went down on the Titanic with all your sorority sisters. I would be happy to show you guys around the campus. Is there anything in particular that you want to see? How are your local graveyards? I have some planning to do. The Bee Line is a cool outdoor trail that cuts right through downtown. She said the Bee Line is cool, Me, Ma. Cool means good. Thank you, Laura, for showing us around. Sure. See you in a couple weeks, April. See? This place is great. Aren't you glad we came back and talked to her? No. It was pointless. I'm not going to school here. April, don't flake out on this. You're going to love it here. Bloomington is great. It's got culture and music and tons of youngsters. Youngsters? Am I 65 years old? Yeah, I'm not going here. I don't want to. Let's leave. <sighs> Can we please talk about what happened back there? What, Anne? I just stole your phone and texted every guy in it that the baby was theirs. It's not that big of a deal. Listen, I know you don't believe this, but I care about your future. And I'm just a little disappointed that you're just not following through with this. Yeah, it's not about following through, okay? I was on the fence about whether I wanted to do it, and as soon as I got there, I just had a gut feeling that it wasn't right for me, that's all. So just like that, boom, huge life decision made? That's how I make all my life decisions. My gut is always right, okay? It was right about marrying Andy, and it was right when it told me that you would be the worst person I would ever meet in my life. And I've met Guy Fieri, and <laughs> so gross. Hey, April, how's it going? Fine. Except hearing Joan talk about her passion and doing what you really love, like, totally freaked me out. Eight years ago, I accepted a random internship at the Parks Department, and then Leslie told me to do a bunch of stuff, and now I'm executive director of regional whatever. I don't even know what it means, and I never even asked myself if I even really like it. I mean, it's like, what is my purpose in life? What do I even care about? My insides are dying. So, not fine. I don't know what to do. I have to quit. To do what? I'm just gonna go live under a bridge and ask people riddles before they cross. April, you looked at one horrifying job. I've got a few more ideas. We'll find you something you like, okay? Okay. But you can't tell Leslie I might leave. She'll have a heart attack. Promise? I promise. I thought maybe we could talk about your future. You wanna talk about your future? Yeah. I've, I've actually been thinking about that a lot lately. Yeah, I figured it's hard at your age to figure out your path. I know. Yeah. I was gonna surprise you with this in Washington, but you know, what the heck, it's unstructured chat time. So, ta-da. This is your clear, definitive path through the federal government. It starts here today with this flight and it goes all the way to 2022. Cool, right? Wow. This is intense. I had to make some guesses about your ultimate government objectives and your fashion choices, et cetera. But the point is, with this, you don't have to worry. I know. I feel so relaxed. Yeah, I know. What's up with these shirts? Gov buds for life. Just a little fun I was having, you know? I didn't really make the shirts. But did you, though? Yes, I did. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, and also, I have a middle seat. April! Group one is boarding! We are about to embark on such an amazing journey. This is gonna be our city. 
and this is gonna be our bench. April, we have a bench in DC. I'm sorry, Leslie, I can't do this anymore. I don't wanna work in government, I quit. What are you talking about? You quit? Why? Because, honestly, I don't even know if I like working in national parks or government. I just fell backwards into your world and years have gone by and now I'm here and Andy and Ben have been helping me look into different jobs to figure out what I really want to do. Ben who? Ben Wyatt? He's been helping you behind my back? Wow, okay, well, you know what? We had a good run, but he's dead to me now. It's just, I've been on this weird path my entire adult life and I need to figure out what I really want. I cannot believe you're quitting. And I cannot believe this is the first time I'm hearing it and on our bench of all places. Thank you for coming. Yeah, well, I had to miss the memorable rain gutters of Washington walking tour, so this better be good. I'm sorry I blew up at you yesterday. I really want all of my friends to be happy together, but more importantly, I just want them to be happy. If you feel like you need to move on, I totally get it. <sighs> okay, turn around. What, why? Because I'm about to say something serious and I can't do it if I have to look you in the eye, please. Oh, okay. I'll take your shoes off and wear them like mittens. April. Okay, sorry. When I started working for you, I was aimless and just thought everything was stupid and lame and you turned me into someone with goals and ambition, which is really the only reason why I'm even thinking about what I really want. And I just want to say thank you. And I love you very much. Which is why I have decided not to turn you into a sea urchin, which I could do because I am an actual witch with powers and I'm evil I know. and I hate everything. I know you do. I know. Thank you, April. So you don't have any idea what you want to do? Well, here's the good news. I am on the case. I know some people who might be able to help us. Come on. April, this is Alyssa from the American Service Foundation. They take young people like you who are trying to explore a new path and match them with one of the thousands of jobs across America that help communities. Alyssa, this is April Ludgate, the single greatest human being ever, and you need to find her a job that she will love and cherish and make her life feel complete. Okay, I'm sorry. I found this crazy woman on the street and she won't leave me alone. Oh, I'm very familiar with Leslie's enthusiasm. They contacted us last year because they wanted to place some people in national parks. Two days later, we had set up the entire program and she sent me a throw pillow with my face stitched onto it. Not my best work. Plus, you changed your hair. I'm going to send you another one. Okay, go solve all of your career problems. I'll wait right here. <laughs> that a girl. Ugh, Mom. Hey, hi. How did it go? I'm great. I know exactly what I want to do. Yes. Is it Teach for America? No. Habitat for Humanity? No. It's working with animals. No. I want to work here at the foundation. I want to be like Alyssa. I want to tell people what to do and then send them far away from me. It's perfect. And it hits everything on my list. Creative problem solving, working one-on-one. -on -one. I am 100,000% in support of this idea. This is an amazing idea. I love this idea and I love you. So are they hiring? What did Alyssa say when you told her? Um, nothing. I didn't tell her yet. I wanted to see if you thought it was a good idea first. What? Bad idea? You wanted to run something by me? Oh my god. Yes. So, will you help me? April, you don't need me. You can get any job you want. All by yourself. Well, obviously, I'm gonna vet your resume and we'll hold some mock interviews and I'll choose your outfit and everything, but... You can get this sucker on your own. <laughs>